Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So today is September 22nd. It is the first day of fall and you guys know what that means. We are decorating for spooky season today. You guys know spooky season has my whole heart. I look forward to this day every single year. Literally every single day that November 1st starts, I'm counting down until the next first day of fall because it's just something that makes me happy and it's just a season where I feel so myself. So I'm really excited for this year, specifically because we are celebrating it in a, our first home that we actually own and it just feels so good purchasing items where I get to fill a space that I know I will be in the next few years where in the past I've always been like kind of struggling with what I want to buy because I never know where we're gonna be the following year when our apartment leases were up. So. That always caused a little bit of chaos with it, but I have a home now and I'm just so excited to decorate. I'm so excited to see this place come to fruition with all the spooky season vibes. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. This morning I went on a run. Um, I came back, I showered, I got ready. I um, tried those oats from Trader Joe's. They were not my favorite. I think the only reason I was able to tolerate them was because of the pumpkin cinnamon granola that I got and put on it. By the way, that is some of the best granola you could ever buy. Every single flavor that that brand has, Purely Elizabeth, is like phenomenal and just so good. And that pumpkin cinnamon was just like exactly what I needed. I will be absolutely buying that again. Um, and then I just made some coffee. I did a pumpkin spice coffee. I have like this oat cookie creamer that Josh bought um for us that actually turned out really good and then i also have it sitting on my coffee warmer because i'm such a slow coffee drinker and if it's not like as warm as it can be i start like losing appetite for it through as it gets like cooler so I'm trying to keep it warm so i can enjoy it but yes we got a lot of new stuff this year i know i failed at giving you guys a spooky season haul of this massive trip i went and got stuff from TJ Maxx in July. I am so sorry. I literally don't think you guys understand with like everything that was has happened in the last few months. Like it's just been really hard to prioritize YouTube. Um, so I'm really sorry that that haul didn't come through like I had planned and how um, I said it would. But I am going to show you guys everything obviously today and um, hopefully that can make up for some of it. I don't know, but. I am really excited to share with you guys everything that I have gathered over the last few weeks. I even found a couple things um, yesterday. Josh and I had to go to get stuff that I was making a little birthday basket for my friend Tasha because we're celebrating her birthday and I found some more things that I thought I could really have some fun with. So yeah, I have a whole dresser over here filled with stuff. I have Halloween stuff here. I have a whole cabinet over here with like kitchen stuff. Um, I have stuff for my spooky cart that I've added to and DIY'd over the last couple days. Um, so really, basically all we're going to try and do now is just try and find a home for everything. Um, and then tonight we are going to make some beef stew. I'm so excited. I literally thrive off those meat sweats. Um, we also, it's raining today, so it's like just like such a perfect day for some stew at the end of the day. Um, and then we're gonna watch a Halloween movie tonight. Um, Taylor got me some uh, uh, like Halloween cocoa bomb things. 
So I think Josh and I might make some hot chocolate tonight and just like watch a movie and stuff after dinner. So I'm really excited. Josh is golfing, so he won't be joining us until probably like 1 or 2 p.m. today. Um, and then I think maybe when he gets home, we should be doing the front yard. My parents have saved everything they used um, for previous holidays and I obviously asked for any spooky season stuff that they had kept over the years. So we have some fun little items that we're gonna try throwing up in our front yard now that we have one. I'm just so excited. I think it's gonna be so cute and creepy and just gross and I'm just so excited. So yes, that's the plan. This is going to be quite the experience because I just don't know what I want and where. So this is just gonna be quite the journey that we'll be um, on. But yes, let's go ahead and get started. Just like so good, okay. The pumpkin spice cake pods from Nespresso are just like everything to me. Okay, so this is where I've gathered majority of like my Halloween stuff. I have like a garland that was originally supposed to go under the TV, but we kind of had to veto the whole fireplace and thing like that until the renovations of next year start. So that might be a next year thing. So we're gonna have to find a home for these. Tay got me some bath bombs that like you already know, we're gonna go decorate with all my bath tray and stuff. We'll do that kind of stuff later. Um, I have like this new pumpkin container that I'm thinking we'll use for coffee grounds. I have some extra cute decor. This is a new thing that I got. I think I shared this with you guys from Michael's. I have a ton of leftover candles from last year. This thing was, I think my grandma's. She passed away in like 2015 and I just like want to do something with it because spooky stuff was mine and her, like it was just our thing together. So I definitely want to see something with that. I might put it by the sink for like my sponges and stuff. We also have some spooky lights candles, skulls. I have a soap thing that I showed you guys a couple vlogs ago. This was an item that I picked up yesterday. It is so freaking cute. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, obviously, but I'm so excited. And then I got some cute mitts. We got some really cute candles. These are something that I picked up when I should have done that haul like two months ago. So really excited. These are from just TJ Maxx. They were like really cheap. Yeah, seven bucks for some nice little taper candles. So we're going to do that this year instead of black ones. Um, I have this felt stuff to go in the vase. I'll probably be using. I have some pumpkin skeleton stuff, little containers, witch hats, which I'm thinking will hang throughout the house. So we had bolted ceilings here. So I'm thinking we can hang some hats. Um, kind of throughout here, so we'll kind of play with that as well. That's probably going to be something we might have to wait on unless Josh can reach off the ladder that we have. But again, they're so high up there, so I don't know what that's going to look like. So we'll see how that goes. I have stuff like this from a couple seasons ago. I have my bat still from... I literally bought these um in the summer of 2020 i think and they've lasted me so long even taylor's used some so and they were from the target dollar section so don't sleep on tar target's dollar section but yeah and then here i have some really cute little bat things and like creepy branches and then my black pompous grass so last year i did this orange and black pompous grass but this year i'm thinking i might do the black pompous grass with a couple of these maybe the spiders um, in their own vase, and then in this vase, I might do just the branches and then these bats kind of throughout them. I'm loving the little sparkly vibes. So we're gonna do that. And then I also have like a ton of like stuff like that Taylor gave me that we could probably use tonight and have like a little date night. We also have this couch, which I shared with you guys in the last vlog and this chair. And I did get very lucky when I went in July and I found a lot of these blankets that everyone has been after. I got this all white ghost one. And then I did find this bat one. I'm gonna try lint rolling over the bat stuff because you're not really supposed to wash these. So I think I'm just gonna try like lint rolling them and hopefully that will clean up like the little bit of like lint all over the bats. So those will hopefully have homes out here um, or one will be out here and one will be in the bedroom. And then you guys already know, I do have my spooky gallery wall. I don't know what this is kind of going to look like this year because we kind of had to change the, like how they face in quite a few of them. So I'm hoping that everything fits the same, but I haven't seen the pictures honestly since last Halloween. And so I kind of need to go look at the pictures. 
maybe pull them down and just see what's going to fit, what needs to be reprinted or resized, um, or if I just need to get some more pictures for them. And then also I have a really cute um, group of pictures that I have on our TV frame so that they'll like shuffle through so that the TV looks like it has its own painting in it as well. And then we have this massive space of a kitchen and I have so many things for it. I found these at Target the other day. I wasn't vlogging or I would have showed them in a previous vlog. They're so cute. These smell so good. And my plan for these is if once we're done using them as candles, I want to clean them out and then use them for something else next year. Um, and then I got the three of these plates that Target has. I was going to get um, more, but I just, I didn't like the other two prints. So I got these three. I think they're so cute. But yeah, so we kind of have to figure out this space. I have pulled a lot of stuff out. So like this is a lot of my stuff from last year. Oh, these are new too. I don't even remember when Josh and I picked these up, but we found them in the Target dollar section this year. So those are new and those will be on the bar cart obviously. And then I also got some really cute spoons, which I will show you guys more in depth when we use them to decorate. Down here, I have a ton of Christmas and Halloween stuff. Like this is all Halloween stuff. This is in this whole side's Halloween stuff as well. So. We're gonna have to pull all of this out as well. And then over here, we're gonna do our spooky bar cart. We were gonna do it on this wall, but this wall's coming down next year. Like this whole room's getting wiped out next year. So we just couldn't commit to anything on this wall. So we just put it on this wall. Four feet of this is like coming down next year as well. So we're gonna put like Michael here for the holidays um, and then just have our cute little bar cart action. We might get like a really tall vase with really big pompous grass for this corner too. Um, but yeah, I have a ton of stuff over here. Like I got the spooky ghost rug that everyone was obsessed with. I got a spider one, some ghost pillows. You guys saw this. I literally found this back in March and I bought it because I was like, I just knew I was going to want it. I found this little tray that I DIY and spray painted gold and then just all, all these pumpkins and stuff. So that's like a very general view and haul of everything that I got.
All right, guys, so I've spread these apart and I'll give you guys a closer up, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six right here. And I might spread them out a little bit more and then I put three over there, which I'll also show you guys. And then I found one that's kind of broken. I'm trying to do like a, I found these skulls from my aunt from like probably the 90s. So I kind of spread them out in the form of like a dead body as if it's like surfacing. And then I did like a broken, tombstone that I had there because I feel like that would kind of make the scene look more fitting so there's that here's what I'm thinking as far as this layout goes and then I have three across this little rock riverbed over here and then I have the lights that I can put on that tree or this tree and I have these these really ugly heads we could hang too Okay, so we have done the front yard now. Most of the house is done. I still have to do my bark cart, hang some stuff in the hallway. And then I have some miscellaneous things that I kind of need to figure out, but um, they may just go in our master bedroom and then throughout some of the bathrooms. But that will be something that we do after dinner because we are making beef stew, so we have to cook now, so we can't eat around like 6 p.m. Um, but I'm gonna help Josh. I'm gonna cut up some of the veggies and stuff like that that are going into it. Um, and then while we wait for it to cook, we will um, try and wrap up the rest of our decor and then I will give you guys one big final update on everything. It's looking really good and almost everything I think is going to be done today except for I need to get one print for my spooky gallery wall because the pictures I had in there, one, I wanted to replace them anyways, two, I genuinely don't know where they're at to even like just keep them in there for now. So that will be one thing that will probably happen this weekend. Um, but yeah, other than that, like we're getting really close. So I'm really excited. But I'm going to help Josh cook and then we are going to have dinner and stuff. I just finished chopping up some stuff. Josh is going to finish the meal. I am going to decorate our spooky bar cart now because I just want to clear up this stuff so I can figure out if there's anything else they want out here. If not, we will move to the back side of the house. Um, I have a lot of stuff for the spooky bar cart, so I'm really hoping. Ooh, careful, Sven and make them dizzy um you like just lay down on the stem right there and it's like my camera's like um but yeah i have a lot of things so i'm hoping we can make it all fit i bought this tray in hopes of like stacking more glasses if i need more space there's also like a few glasses on here that i really don't care to have on the bar cart like this year like these ones um but i might put these around throughout the party and put like little candy in them because they're cute still but um, my priority is everything else on here that I've DIY'd and like all my cute little like skeleton grabbing glasses and then I also want to be able to utilize all these things as well and of course this guy so we are going to start working on this Josh also decided Michael's costume this year and Michael is going to be a cowboy last year a sheriff. I mean a sheriff Come on. um what was he last year I think he was a magician last year, and then the year before that, he was a butler. Yeah. So, this year, he's a cowboy. Comment below what you want him to be next year. But we will dress him once the rest of this is all done, but I'm going to clear all this off and then clean it, and then we will start putting things where they potentially might go. We're just gonna mess with it.
Okay guys, so it's been a minute. We ate dinner and I cleaned up our bedroom and our bathroom and then did some stuff in this hallway because I only have like eight minutes left on this SIM card before I have to switch over to my new one. So I wanted to make it count. Um, but I'll show you what I did throughout this hallway and then what we're about to start doing now. So I really want this hallway to just be really fun and creepy and cute. So we're gonna hang witch hats throughout the hallway Right here, we're gonna do an Adam's Family portrait, Josh's idea, I'm super proud. And then we have this fun little spider rug that I found, and then I put this pompous grass here with the little spiders throughout it. I think it looks really pretty. And then because you can see like this whole spider thing from the end of the hallway, I put this like spider blanket on this chair because this chair is gonna be here till probably like December till our other couch comes. Um, but I think that looks really cute and then our bathroom is super plain already But I did get some fun bath stuff from Taylor. You guys know I'm a big bath girl So I really want to do something with that And then I only had two ghost candles So I didn't know what to do with my third like taper candle So I put it in here because I think these are actually really pretty during baths um, I might move a fall candle in here too and move this one and then I have like this little boot towel here because I just feel like that's so cute and then I also have this like string of ghosts that I might hang from the side of the tub because I cannot for the life of me figure out a place for them. And I feel like, I don't know, I take a lot of baths in the fall, so I feel like it would at least be cute. So that's that in here. May or may not add some pumpkins in here as well, but that will be, we'll, we'll worry about this later. And then in our bedroom, I have like a ton of this stuff left over that I didn't use in the front rooms. So I really want to try try and like play with it we have some a big table here that we can have some fun with we still have this bookcase that has not been built out yet so we can try having fun with that and then i have this entire section as well that i would like to do something with it's very bland um so yeah let me put this away But yeah, I thought that I just would maybe like to try and have some fun with it. And I have all these extra pumpkins as well. I have a couple pillows too. We use this white pillow and I was thinking we could swip, swip, we could switch it out with this one or this Hocus Pocus one, which was my outdoor one last year. But again, we also have the couch and stuff with two extra blankets. I got this one at TJ Maxx back in July and it kind of goes back and forth. It feels like the Barefoot Dreams blanket and it is just heaven sent. And then Josh wanted this one so bad and it's so cute and I'm glad he got it because it's like a really pretty thick knit blanket with bats on it and again, both sides. So we're going to play with this as well. But for now, the priority is this hallway and then tomorrow I'm also going to do a separate video dedicated to just styling and setting up my laundry room, which desperately needs it because it's a mess. All right, let's hang some witch hats. Okay, you guys, so I did the bathroom, the hallway, everything and from my bathroom into the front of the house is all done except for me just needing to go and print out some Halloween prints that I want to put in all the frames in those areas. So the last thing we have to do now is our room. Um, so we are going to try and figure this out. I'm not normally too picky about my room because it's a room and I don't know. I care more about the front house because that's more of like an entertainment space and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I do kind of want to try and have some fun in here. So that's what we're gonna do. I think I'm going to start with our little wet bar here. Yeah, so I just have this little area. I know I kind of want to try and use basically everything that I have left. So that's what we're gonna do. just finished our room <sighs> I never am happy with my room for the holidays because I feel like it's just such a weird space to decorate 
Um, but I did the best I could and I used what was left of my Halloween decor so that everything's at least being used. Um, I will show you guys everything in other clips, but <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Like this stuff, nothing matches, but like Sven's obsessed with this blanket and these are his like favorite toys he's clinging to right now. I want to use that pillow, so it's just going to go and stay there because I feel like at least it brings some type of Halloween element into the room. This blanket will either be here or up front. Honestly, I'm just going to bring it wherever I go, and Josh is going to probably do the same with that. I put the one pillow here um, with all the brooms on it. I don't have any intentions of keeping it there, but for now, I'm just wanting it out of my way in somewhere. And then I just put those other little things on this coffee table here because... We do like to hang out in here quite a bit, so it would be nice to at least light a candle, have some Halloween decor, and just kind of feel in the mood. I didn't do anything on the shelf, but I do have this here just for now because I really want something else to do with it, but I just can't figure out what I want to do. And I'm thinking we have like a front mud room that you walk into that I really want to do a different day because it needs a really cleaned out when my parents get back. Um, so I'm thinking I want to do something with that up there. And then my goal here, like we have such a blank canvas here, so I think we're gonna do like some type of floating shelves eventually. It may or may not get done this year. And then if it does get done during the season, we will add like a ton of, um, like we have like a ton of extra like Halloween cups and stuff that maybe we can put up there. And that way the bar cart's not so crowded. Um, also like a lot of space on here, but I just kind of did this because I didn't want to overwhelm the space. And again, I used these pumpkins just because I wanted to use everything. I am going to go ahead and switch in to my jammies and then I am going to wash my face off and then grab our blankets. And then we are going to sit up front and watch a movie. I'm trying to decide what Halloween movie I want to watch. I'm being so decisive, even though I have a whole season where I can just watch them every day. Um, but it's just, I'm having fun trying to figure out which one I want to start the first day of fall with, you know? Um, so there's all that. I'm gonna do that now and then we will go out there and make our hot chocolate and watch our movie. Mm -hmm. 